Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are at Savers Thrift Store, Thrift Superstore to be accurate. So I have not been here in like a couple weeks. I'm really anxious to get inside and see what they have. Although traditionally this place does not have the best quality of items at the best prices. But every now and again, every now and again, I surprise myself in here. So we're gonna go into Savers and see what we can find to buy and resell. I just spotted this fruit basket, $6. I think I'm gonna get that, it was down there. I have to talk loudly because the music is a blare in here at Savers, but $6 for all of these fruits, well, vegetables too. I think that's a pretty good price actually. And um, I would sell each one of these for probably five or $6 each. So yeah, I'm gonna pick those up, little fruits. I looked them over, they don't see any issues really for the most part, so that's nice. Yeah, so let's take a look at the shelves here. They're busy restocking right now too, so we have to kind of work around that. There's a lot of things with chips and things, so we do have to be aware of that. That's a very common thing here at Savers. I used to have a parrot like this that talks back. Mine was larger, but I liked it. Okay, so I don't really see, oh look at this. That is Capodimonte Italian, but of course, look at all the chips on that one. You've got the chip there and a big one there. That's very common with that Capodimonte stuff, so I usually don't get very much. I used to have this ornament. I had that ornament. Okay. Let's check down the next aisle. Oh, a little depression piece. Let's go. All right, now for the planters. Looking for some interesting ones. Oh, look at that mouse. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's been chipped up to bits, but the idea of it's very cute. It's a teleflora planter. Aren't they usually teleflora? I see a lot of teleflora planters. Look, oh my gosh. I think that's a cookie jar or something. Three dollars. You know what? I have to get that. That is really, <laughs> that's really cute. For three dollars, and I don't see any real chips or cracks on it. So as a planter for a, oh nuts. Oh nuts, there's a big hairline down his hair. Darn. That was pretty while it lasted though. It's very busy here at Savers. Look at those, those are kind of interesting. Okay, I've got that Corel pattern already. I've mentioned it before, I just collect random plates and then I use them. So, yes, and some Corel does sell if you buy it in a set. Not for much though. So I usually don't bother with it. But yes, you can sell Corel plates. All right, let's keep looking. All these nice metal pieces, silver. Here's a carnival glass thing, little tray. This is not very old, it's from like the 60s, about the 60s or 70s, this carnival glass. I like the old stuff. I don't buy much carnival glass anymore, but I've always liked the stuff that is around the 1920s the best just has a special look to it. That's cool. It's not complete, but it's cool. Very nice. Christmas is a little far away, but these are only $2 for the salt and the pepper. They are made in China, but they're really cute actually. Those are a good item for a live sale. These little egg cups caught my eye actually because they have cherries on them. And they're not really marked or anything, but $3 for the three of them, that's like a dollar a piece. I think they're really good. Oh, look at those. Those are $4. I better look at those too. But I love these bags. There's just like all of these bags over here. So I like to look through them because we can find some deals. Hey, this is Fitz and Floyd. So I will get the Fitz and Floyd ducks. They're actually in good shape and they're marked right on the bottom there, FF. So that is a, one of the Fitz and Floyd marks. So that's fantastic. Those are ceramic birds. 
Those are, I'm trying to read them. Love doves. Love doves for $4. Well, they look like they're in love. We'll keep looking. Okay, we're in the home decor bag section. Little fishies. You get three little fish by their party light. Party light little fish. I don't know if I will. I don't think I will. For $2. I like them, but I just don't know. I just don't know about them fish. So I just don't know. Did I say I don't know? Because I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love a good figurine. He has, he's missing an eye. USA, the dog. And you get this other dog. It's Japan. It has an interesting shape, that other one does. But $2 just for one figurine, I don't think I would do that. Because I don't think I would do well with this other one without an eye. I like my animals to have two eyes. Here's a deer that's made in Japan. You get a bag of those. There's another deer in there too. That's just a random shaker. And then you've got a bunny up here that looks not very well painted. Hmm. Those are like a home crafted piece, home painted. Well, you know, Christmas is coming up. They have a whole Christmas aisle. It's like this all year. And I usually, honestly, I usually just don't look through it. I know that's silly, but I, um, I'm pretty, I don't know. I can't give you a real answer. It has to be the right time of year for me to get excited about this stuff. And it's getting there. We're entering fourth quarter. So, and a lot of it, honestly, is newer, which is to be expected. And we like old things, vintage things. And uh, I'm walking sort of fast, I know, and I still don't see anything that's really old. Oh, look, an Easter. We could plan ahead for Easter next year. Again, it's lots of new stuff. Well, we tried, didn't we? This little boot's kind of older, but it's not that exciting. You're not that exciting, little boot for $3. All right. I spotted this cherry napkin holder. Thought I'd pick it up. It's J Import, so it's not terribly, terribly old. Probably from the early 2000s, but $2. I think I will do that for the napkin holder. Now, they did have a salt and a pepper that matched over here, but they're marked separately, and I'm not gonna buy separate salt and peppers because that's just silly, $2 each. So <laughs> I don't know why st stores do that, but um, I'm, I'm not falling for that trick. And they got some Salem Biscayne down here too. That's the Biscayne pattern by Salem, but I'm just getting the cherry. So let's put that in my cart with my other goodies. I don't know, should I get the geese? <laughs> A lot of people find this hilarious, but these are gonna come back one day, very soon. We're all gonna want that in, <laughs> want that in our house again. And, and this little stuff, this heart stuff. Oh, she brought out more stuff. These little elephants are cute. The white one, the white elephant that you see here is an earring holder with his little holes in his ears. And this other one is just like saying, hi, hello. And it has his arms open. So it's $3 for the pair of them. And I think it's actually pretty good. So yeah, you put the little earring, your earrings and the holes on the ears. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape, both of these for $3. So I will do that. How did I end up in the Christmas aisle again? I found another bag. This one is $4 and you get all of the salt sellers. Now, originally somebody tried selling all these for $2 each, but, um, and I mean, that's about what they sell for. So I think I'm gonna do it. All these cool, clear salt sellers. Look at all my bags. They are really noisy up there. What are they doing? You know, I kind of like this little cat. Little sleeping kitten with the hand-painted flower. 
Uh, that's just a little sticker residue right there on its hip. But this is um, $3, not bad. And it has a sticker, made in USA, by something lasting products, I think. So I will get the little sleeping kitten. I think it's really cute. Do we want this other goose here? <laughs> a goose cookie jar? Six dollars. I know it's very tempting, right? No. Besides, it's really large and I'm not gonna deal with that. Oh, look, musical kittens. Kitty musicians. Hmm. This is Capri. And there's a chip on the top of it. Darn it. That's the Capri pattern in the four dollars. Look at the swan. I haven't seen one like that before. It's a whole it's a towel holder for three dollars. That's just a little sticker residue on the top. No chips or cracks. Beautiful. I like the form of this one. You're very aerodynamic for three dollars. Yeah. And this is Avon. I could just tell you without even like looking at it. That's Avon for you. Oh, I can't prove it, but trust me, it's Avon. And look at all the other Avon we've got around here. Horses and all different kinds of things. You know what? I just can't help myself. I have to buy this. This is Bavaria, Bavaria, Germany, and it has the little birds on it and it's reticulated. It's sliced right there, you know? gold on it i love the colors i love everything about it i don't love that it's five dollars but it is in great shape and there's the back stamp so i'm gonna get this bowl i like it a lot i'm i'm gonna get the bowl hey look there's hot air balloons i just did a video a while ago and i bought a hot air balloon plate there's another one i only mention them because it's kind of like my logo What are you supposed to be? A, just a wall decal or a wall, a wall thing? Well, no, you can't even be hung. You would need a, a plate hanger to hang that one. These are glass. There's some more up here. Huh. Oh my, all the angels. And here's a deer just hanging out. You know what? I think we're about done. I think so. I think we're about to check out. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. With a hole in its nose and a hole in its... Is it for like a tape measure or something? Like a sewing thing, or I don't know. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna check out now. All right, so that was pretty good. We got some interesting things here at Savers, and I will wrap up this video. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.